basis for Norden's arc at a scientific ground and not to an unrealistic dream of increased number of visitors. And today, 10 years later, we do still have the same number of visitors, just about 100,000. But our income is three times bigger <laughs> because we get a lot of money from sources that think that conservation is what a zoo should focus on. I think we have probably the most boring animal collection in the Northern <laughs> Hemisphere. <laughs> but we are very committed to their survival. We are more happy to talk about how many birds, amphibians, and mammals we have reintroduced into the wild than how many visitors we have had. I have been fortunate through all these years to have a board of trustees which have encouraged me to participate in the international zoo community, especially in the years when we had been extremely short of money, and I can tell you it's been several of them. But why and how come they thought this was so important? I think that is because they have understood the value of CBSG and WASA conferences for me and for Norris Ark. They have understood that the people I meet there are the source of inspiration for me to find the way forward for Norris Ark. I have, for example, been encouraged in my work by keynote speakers as Dr. Conway in Pretoria, 1999. I have learned to listen carefully to everybody in a meeting by Ulysses' raw model for a meeting structure, nowadays so successfully run by Oni. I have gotten a lot of good advice from Chris, Bob, Bengt, Joe, Jeff, David, <laughs> Willie, Alex, Sally, your <laughs> Gloria, and many more wonderful friends. And I have been inspired by excellent talks from George, Herbert, Kevin, PPK, Gordon, Bernard, Leslie, Miranda, and many, many more. I can't mention all of them. Coming back home after these conferences, I have been more convinced than ever that the goal we are striving for has to be a healthy, sustainable population in the wild. The zoo is only a tool for that. And I really think we have to have a good reason to limit the life and environment for a wild animal. And that reason is an honest and true contribution to conservation and nothing else, in my little world at least. You have, by this award, encouraged me to go on being bold and in the spirit of Ulysses to work for conservation without knowing for certain if it will be successful or not. But to at least try to give the brown, small, unsexy animals a chance. <laughs> I am more than happy to share this evening with all of you, and especially glad that my husband is here, as it has been a great, he has been a great supporter to me through all these years. They have been rather tough from a family point of view. I know he will be proud this evening when I will walk around with bright eyes and a uh, bushy tail. <laughs> As you have understood from my talk, I just steal ideas and thoughts from all of you. So my final words will be a quote from the very special person who got the first Ulysses Award, Nate. He said, and I think that mirrors my feelings so precisely, I hope I can one day do something to disturb this. Thank you. <laughs>